Hmm, who do we know who we, who we want dead and who is a massive fan of possum steaks? What kind of big wanker do we want dead who likes possum steaks? Could be anyone. Bloody. God. They're just shaking down random people for bullets. And burning a load of people killed by disease. They seem to have died recently. Jeez, charred limbs and bits of clothing. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just like deliberately killing off the people just to uh save them having to feed them. Hey, we can give no okay. You don't want spare bullets for your baby's food. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to stop this at some point okay, because Luke. I know everybody's worried about the sickness that's going around, but please, please don't call it a plague. It's bad for morale. A plague. Thanks. Yeah, definitely don't call it a plague. It's not a plague. It's a plague. God, there are just so many enemies in this place. So many enemies. Behind the bar and underneath a mop of graying hair, the round face of a born bartender smiles at you, then looks uneasily at the leather people. Here at a drink, or do you want some of that nastiness those leather people are selling in my back room? What's with all the leather? Yeah, it's like a fetish with them. I hear their favorite leather is made from the people they kill. Hope they didn't make a pair of sandals out of poor old mare. What do you think about the jerks? That damn fool of a mayor hired them to save our town from some synths. Now we need saving from them. Their leaders, old Biggin and his lieutenant Dangler, decided that keeping the peace meant keeping a piece of every damn thing they could lay their hands on. And they sure act like they own my place, I'll tell you that for free. Installed that big fellow with an axe over there as a bouncer. Never pay a Pay, they never pay for a drink, they scare all my customers away, make me pay sky-high price for the booze from the distillery, I'm pouring shots, hand over fists, and I'm not making a bullet. Somebody ought to do something, hint, hint. Can you do something? Yes, you should. Oh, you want me to help? Sorry, stranger, I'm a coward. No good at all in a fight, but, well, I could maybe slip old Pat the Axe here a Mickey if you wanted me to. Could take him out of the game. What is a Mickey? Yeah, a Mickey Finn, a time-honored practice among dishonorable bartenders. Sadly, I ain't got no makings, but if you're gonna start something with the jerks, you wanted to even the odds a bit, you could get me some chloral hydrate from the clinic. A little of that, and Pat's tequila, and he wouldn't wake up till it was all over. So that is Biggin dealt with, Pat dealt with, and they're still Greek. Bloody hell! So when you lose, they shoot you? They're definitely trying to kill everyone off, but why they don't just kill everyone off, I've no idea. That's ridiculous. God. Oh, clinic. We got a sick boy in there and the doctor won't let us in. Why can't we see our Tom? Who's Tom? Our boy. It it just ain't fair. First his fiance dies just before that wedding and now he's sick too. We were praying the doctor could help and now... Is there anything we can do to help? I don't know what a bunch of gunslingers can do for a sick man. But if you know of a cure... Nah, you ain't the healing kind. I can tell. 
Well, you could get rid of the jerks who've taken over our town. If our town ever gets better, I don't want him living in a place run by the likes of them. We don't have a cure, but we can ask around. If you think you can help, talk to the dark. He's stumped. I think I know what's causing it. Doctor, doctor. Hard eight. Yes, I'm embarrassed. Fuck you. Okay. That's not what I wanted to see. Chloral hydrate. Awesome. That's what I needed. Close that fucking curtain. Do you want the patience to see this? A man in blood-stained white coat stands at an operating table conducting an autopsy on the corpse of a little girl. It's a horrific sight and that is very clearly not a little girl. It... Uh, the child's torso is laid open and long worms trail out of incisions in her stomach and intestines. They cr curl on the ground in pools of bile and blood. Bloody hell, Gary, that's what you had inside you. Christ. White worms dangle from this child's stomach, dripping blood. The doctor's craggy, handsome face is distorted by a set of mismatched eyes, and that's the guy who nuked the, the ag center. One is normal, the other is golf ball huge, and it seems to gaze around on its own. Despite that, his expression is kind. Great, more gun-toting thugs. Just what this town needs. Are you here to help or help yourselves? <laughs> well, if you're so inclined, I need a working microscope. That's the only way I'm going to find out how the worms are getting into these people's stomachs. The Mannerites have wanted their hospital, but I'm no longer welcome there. <laughs> These worms in their larval state are too small to see with the naked eye, so I can't search for them in the food, clothes, or dirt of the town. A microscope will help me find them, I hope. <laughs> ha! By which you mean he needs it to take out the, the leather people. An admirable plan, if that's what he really wants it for. Tell you what, you help me then, and I'll think about helping you. I'm not going to tell you I've already taken it. <laughs> Between old Biggin and Dengler in this sickness? Yes, indeed. Gun games and poxed hookers in the casino, taking bullets at the bank. You won't be surprised at the incidence of venereal disease and bullet wounds have gone up alarmingly. Our beloved mayor has a lot to answer for, though I guess he's paying the price. Wish, wish someone would do something. Hint, hint, hint. Why don't you do something? I'm doing all I can right here. You could do something, though. I just hope it's not something stupid and violent that's going to give me more hurt people to heal. Don't worry, it won't give you anyone you can heal. <laughs> ha! I wish. I'd love to have some of the medical-grade stuff on hand, but Hollywood and those pistol-packing priests up in Griffith Path snatched it all up a long time ago. So I've got to make do with cat litter, but even that's getting scarce. <laughs> I'm assuming you want this as a cure for radiation, not because you have cats at home. Well, I have some, but it's precious stuff. It would take some convincing for me to part with it. Not convincing. Well, helping me find a cure for these poor folks might do it. You do that, and I'll give you half the cat litter I got. They didn't like that I swore and told people exactly what I thought. No bedside manner, they said. And they're selective about who they let into their hospital, too, which amounts to deciding who deserves to live or die. Well, fuck that and fuck them. That's possum shit, plain and simple. <laughs> yes, as if the leathered people weren't plague enough, Rodier is being attacked by a parasite-born sickness. We've already lost more than ten people, mostly farmers, and a dozen more are sick. I've got to find out where these fucking worms are coming from, and fast. It's coming from the wells, coming from the water supply. I know, because I drank it and then got infected by worms. Satan, is that you? Satan, thank you, strangers. It's good to have the old bastard back. I don't have much, but take this as a reward. Hope all Satan give, didn't give you too much trouble. Now what can I do for you? You look like you're new to Radia. Do you have any cat litter? I don't have much, but take this as a reward. Huh? What do you want it for? Oh, wait, for radiation, right? Well, I'm afraid we don't get much radi radiation around here, so we don't haunt it. Dante might have some. So you could fix the radio. Well, I'll be happy to fix it for you, but you gotta do something for me first. You have to save Dante Goodman. His wife, Beatrice, and that rat, Dangler, are trying to get him to tell her where he's hidden all his money. And once they do, they're gonna kill him. 
I'm still mad Dante left me for that tramp. And I don't want him to die. If you get him away from that woman, prove to him that she means him harm. Then I'll fix the radio for you, but not before. And straight up killing her ain't the answer. Not before he knows, anyway. If Dante believed Beatrice died an angel, he'll mourn her for the rest of his days and he'll never come back to... Yeah, okay, I'm selfish. I want him back. What's wrong with that? But he won't come back if he thinks I was telling lies about her all this time. If he knows the truth, he'll come back. So show him, strangers. Show him. Then I'll fix the radio. Okay, we've got a good old-fashioned love triangle here with... This guy who bred Satan. Little overview of what I need to do. I have... Yeah, pat the axe. I have the poison for that. That's sorted. I have the possum steak for Biggin. That's sorted. Uh, I still need a way to deal with the Greek. I haven't even seen him, I don't think. Um, I probably need to go into the drain to get the water. To get, I don't know, proof. Maybe... Maybe I could just do that without the Mannerites, but I should probably go and try and get that anyway. And I can either just lock Beatrice in the shed, but if she's really working against him, then I should prove it. Although I have no idea how. So maybe I could go and talk to Dante again. And then I will liberate the town, I guess, is the plan. Virgil says you and he used to be an item. So you've met Virgil. Yeah, I'm sorry how that all worked out, but I don't blame him for being mad. But I wish he wasn't so hard on Beatrice. I'm the one he should be mad at. It isn't B's fault I fell in love with her. Shh. She says she's plotting against you with Dengla. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Virgil's had it out for her from the beginning. And I admit, I wonder sometimes myself, but until I see actual proof that she's turned against me, I ain't ready to shatter the dream. She's just too beautiful. So apparently there is some proof somewhere, probably in Dengler's place. You see, I'm in a precarious situation here, because this game is a habit of the moment you make one action against a faction, that's it, boom, everything kicks off, that's the one action that counts. And I'm referring mostly to when I disarmed the nuke, everybody found out about it, and suddenly chaos broke out everywhere you know, with the the Mad Monks, and the Diamondback, and Raiders won. So, I need to very, very carefully try things before just leaping in. So I'm wondering if just breaking in here and finding out that the whatever's in this water is causing the poison is just going to kick everything off and just make it so that I can't do any of the other stuff I've been doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to try it next time and just see where it gets me. So thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later.